Musea means many muses. I'm Shiloh Sophia. I've been practicing intentional creativity for about 27 years. And today, I wanna to explore medicine painting. To best introduce the work, I thought I would share what some of the students of intentional creativity share about their experience with this kind of self-expression. The benefits are truly endless and actually very exciting. As you watch and view the work, imagine experiencing this for yourself. Intentional creativity is to make with love, to practice art with mindfulness and purpose. Intentional creativity is a spiritual practice without dogma, an alchemical journey. It's creativity as personal medicine and gives you access to inner guidance, which awaits your brush. Intentional creativity is art as living prayer, as well as curating your own consciousness. Many report discovering deep meaning, finding your own center, Also, we code our canvas with information. Almost every class includes some form of embodied meditation. And truly, love is at the center of all of our choices here. One of the things that creating this way does is activates both sides of the brain. My training has been very sacramental, so there's also lots of simple ritual. Perhaps one of the most powerful tools of this work is the idea that we can move our own energy, and we do this through painting. I also offer a lot of intuitive technique where you listen within for your guidance. One of my favorite ways of working with intentional creativity is to illustrate concepts to make something concrete that may have been abstract. There are tons of teachings encoded in the painting process. Many of us experience true joy in the journey of creating. It's more than you could imagine. We also do lots of getting down while we're creating. And sometimes it's a real hot mess while we're transforming it into beauty. Many of us practice inner peace as well as experience the red thread of connection. We offer many different kinds of practices and intentional creativity. And something most of us do is called metacognitive drawing. It's basically thinking about thinking with a pen in your hand. While I focus on painting and writing, there are tons of applications of intentional creativity to paper and clay and music and dancing and jewelry making and sculpting, you name it, you can apply intentional creativity. Most of us around here are rebels and so making new patterns is important to us. We have process for that. We also have a big focus on art with purpose that what we make matters and while you're doing it, you're literally rewiring your code. Our experiences often include visual journaling, as well as red thread, and basic supplies. When you move the brush without controlling it, really you're following it, you embrace the mystery. It can feel so good to let go and experience the bliss of flow. One of the gifts of intentional creativity is creating a new context, literally how you're living your life and thinking. And during this, you end up finding your own voice in such a powerful way. In our time together, you may experience expanded consciousness. I hope freedom of movement 
and a huge benefit from the actual teachings of intentional creativity. We have an emergent methodology that's adapting as we learn more about the power of intentional creativity on neural pathways, our physiology, our consciousness, and the energy field. We're blessed to have a global community of connection. You get to be a part of that. Together, we are creating a love story.